So Adobe just announced all of the new updates for After Effects, and they made some significant changes to the expression editor. So if you work with expressions, you're going to be a happy camper. Now if you don't know what expressions are, they're snippets of JavaScript which you can use to create dynamic animations without having to create hundreds of keyframes. So if you're already an expert at coding, these updates will help you code faster, but if you're a novice like me, then these updates are going to make working with expressions a little less intimidating. So let's take a look at the changes. So this updated layout is really designed to allow you to navigate your code visually with syntax highlighting, line numbers, match brace highlighting, and code folding, all of which is customizable. Now when I type code in the editor, it's going to automatically suggest options based on what I'm typing. Also, now when there's an error in my code, I'm given an inline message to put things into context. And you can see that it's even helped me out by suggesting which layer I want to reconnect to. And one of the biggest features is when you go to preferences, you now have a scripting and expressions menu, allowing you to make significant customization options, including the color themes and a number of other settings. So once again, let's take a look at the difference. Here's what the expression editor looked like before, and here's what it looks like now. All right, so let me know what you think in the comments section. If you're new to expressions, let me know if this indeed makes you want to use it more, if it makes it a little less intimidating. And if you're an expert, let me know if this makes coding more easy for you. All right, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and head over and see my video about the new content aware fill feature inside of After Effects. All right, see you next time.